Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Before we start today, please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video if you enjoy it, and follow me on all of our Secure Team 10 social media pages for fast updates to new videos featuring only the best in anomalous discoveries and no-nonsense breaking news relating to the UFO cover-up and everything in between. Now, today I've got a number of strange and mysterious new UFO sighting videos for you guys. But to begin with, we have some breaking news that is spreading fast across the UFO research community. As reported by multiple outlets, including his own Twitter account, after going quiet for a while now, Jeremy Corbell, documentary filmmaker and social media personality, has recently released a tweet in the form of a single still image frame of what he claims to be a UFO, or UAP as the government allegedly dubbed them, and the term I refuse to use, uh, but a frame of a UFO said to have been caught on camera over Iraq in 2016 by a coalition military aircraft. When people come with information, in this case to me an image, I need to make sure if this is a legitimate image and story behind it. Uh, it, it is a military filmed image, an intelligence agency filmed image, and it's called the Mosul Orb. Mosul, Iraq. Yeah, correct, yeah, this is an image taken over northern Iraq, and it, you know, this is fine to put out, the image itself, and the, I have some detailed information about it, but here's the very basics. The image, according to Jeremy, which was first initially released on an episode of his newly created YouTube podcast discussing the phenomenon with his longtime mentor George Knapp, is claimed by the filmmaker to show a UFO caught on camera flying over the Iraqi city of Mosul, and is said to be the first image ever to show a UFO caught on camera flying over a war zone, and that has been, quote, confirmed confirmed by the U.S. government as legit, and is reportedly being investigated as a UFO sighting by the U.S. military and intelligence community, although as of yet there has been no confirmation of that. And so, the still image frame you're seeing now is said to have been taken from a four-second video clip captured on April 16th, 2016 by a reconnaissance aircraft in northern Iraq. According to Corbell, quote, it is a military filmed image, and it's called the Mosul Orb, noting that the object was named after the Iraqi city where it was spotted. In the video, the metallic colored sphere seemingly moved alongside the spy plane without dropping in altitude. Jeremy goes on to say, quote, this is in the UFO category within our intelligence community. This is an example of one of the UFOs that our military and intelligence community is looking at, and it's just one of many images. According to one news outlet covering the story, the New York Post, for example, they added, quote, the Department of Defense did not immediately return a request for comment about the authenticity of the image shared by Weaponized, which is apparently the name of Jeremy and Knapp's new podcast, his phrase always being, weaponize your curiosity. The Pentagon's newly formed All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or AARO, has investigated hundreds of reports, it stated, of unidentified flying objects over the span of several months. We talked about this in my recent video in regards to their newest UAP report, which, like every report in the past on the subject, contained nothing new whatsoever, not giving us anything new, you know, type of report that the government always puts out. And so, yeah, we have this image here, which I guess Jeremy released within the first episode of his new YouTube podcast, where he sits down with George Knapp and they talk, and in analyzing this image, we see what appears to be a shot of of a metallic orb, or what, you know, looks like one, uh, taken by the camera attached to, you know, a military recon aircraft, as is stated by Jeremy, uh, which is why I'm, I'm a little hesitant to try to analyze this in any
any sort of in-depth fashion because it's almost impossible. Uh, in my initial analysis of the image, besides the notably clean city streets of what's said to be Mosul, Iraq uh, in the background below, we do indeed see what appears to be this slightly blurred spherical-like orb, which looks to be reflecting light within the shot. Now, some could say that whatever this thing is in this image, you know, it's quote-unquote metallic in nature. But we really have no idea from a completely objective standpoint. With this one still frame, we really just, we don't have any idea of what this object is. Uh, if it is even a solid flying object or unknown drone of some kind, uh, you know, and it's hard, especially when all we have to go on is what Jeremy has stated about the image and the fact that it's just one still frame. I think that's the issue for me and many others that have emailed me or that I've seen react to this on Twitter. And of course, there is excitement, which is always expected. A piece of footage is released uh, that is said to be confirmed by the government, which is a very tricky term because in most of these instances, the government is not confirming that the UFO within the footage is actually an alien craft or anything like that. They're just confirming that the footage is legit and did come from an aircraft so I'd like some more clarification on that and you know the main issue we go back to is that it's very hard to analyze a single image from what is said to be just a four second video uh, of which some pretty big statements are being reported you know for all I know looking at this it could be an alien drone uh, or a black project craft by our own government or simply a water droplet forming on the camera lens or on the outside dome of the camera housing but without the video which again is said to be only four seconds in length and in which only in one second is it said that this ufo actually appears and can be seen which by the way is even stranger to me because who and why record only four seconds of anything? Why uh, Why are we only hearing that it's a four second clip? Why not release the full clip? You know what I mean? Why not just release it? Especially if this unidentified object only appears in one second of those four. So based on everything I've read surrounding this story, um, you know, it, it's very interesting. I want to know more. What's a little, I don't want to say frustrating, but it's kind of one of those head scratchers that I have when stuff like this is released by whoever, uh, which is the fact that, well, why not just release the full video immediately? I mean, it is only four seconds, according to Jeremy and Knapp. Uh, and the UFO appearing in only one second, it's very strange to me as a long time, uh, you know, call me researcher, YouTuber, whatever, a guy that's released tens of thousands of UFO sighting clips on my channel. I've always been the kind of person that wants to get stuff out there without delay. And so it's strange to me that he would only release this still image and not the full four seconds. Then again, to look at another angle, some could say that if you were to have just created a brand a new podcast on YouTube and want to get as many viewers as possible, I can see the strategy of only releasing a single still frame and, you know, making the community have to wait until the next episode of this brand new podcast or maybe even the episode after that before we are able to receive more info. So, you know, guys, this isn't a dig at Jeremy. I could care less who released this. It could have been anyone. I just don't understand the logic of releasing one frame that is very tough to analyze and then just going off of this story surrounding the image that is only coming from one person and again is said to be linked to the U.S. government who I don't trust further than I could throw it. But for now in summation all we do have is this one frame. He may have released the full video since and you know there's a lot of talk and speculation of what this object could be. Like most of you watching this right now you know I just want to see the footage and i'm sure most of you would too or if you've you know seen the tweets about this or the news stories you know if it were me outright upload it you know in full to twitter to youtube or even better send the four second video to all of the major news outlets and media outlets and uh let the people check it out man you know so hopefully that will come soon and uh, we will analyze it constructively and with an open mind 
do you think that anything will come of this, uh, especially with its ties to the government, which has been perpetuating this cover-up for a hundred years now, has been caught time after time covering it up? At the end of the day, I do, however, truly hope that whatever this new UFO release brings, uh, that it's legit, you know? At the end of the day, I'm still a glass half full type of guy, and so we will see what happens once we, I, I guess, get to see the full four seconds. So we'll stay on top of it. Now, speaking of mystery orbs, while we're on the topic, uh, I want to show you guys some footage here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have had your own encounters with what look like or are strange orbs. Here's a clip that I thought was really interesting, and it fit as a perfect segue, in my opinion, of multiple UFO orbs caught on video above Kansas. So check this out. You see the white dot there? It just flew right over it, and he's getting ready to go by right the next one. There is, he's getting ready to go right by it. It is right by now. It's right in the middle of that cloud. It's right there. You can see that dot. It looks like a balloon, but it, it ain't moving. The clouds are moving, but it's not. If it was a balloon, it should be moving while the clouds are moving. That is super weird. It is weird. Wow. If their balloons are pretty dang big balloons, because they were higher than that plane that just went by, right? The plane went under it. So without a doubt, guys, uh, you know, of the endless forms that we have seen unidentified flying objects take, the orb or sphere is definitely among the top in the list. What do you think about this footage? And if you have your own UFO sighting video, email it to me. The link to my email and everything else is down in the video description. So next, in mystery UFO sightings, this is an awesome clip that definitely boggles the mind. It's sort of ominous because it takes place during this sort of dark raging thunderstorm and shows what appears to be a fast moving, dark, unknown object blasting out of the storm clouds captured by onlookers inside of a vehicle taking shelter during the storm as they drive down the street playing this over a few different times here at different you know zoom levels and uh, enhancements this footage you know it gives me the chills it truly does and you know it takes a lot after everything i've seen all the pioneers that i've interviewed here on the channel you know this this piece of footage it just kind of makes the hair on my you know the back of my neck stand up a bit you know where we have this view driving on this dark desolate road typical you know of a horror film lightning appearing flashes in the distance and then suddenly and at a very high speed something very dark that looks like a solid object without a doubt to me coming into view out of the distance almost kind of leaving what looks like a trail behind it but that could just you know be video blur because the object is moving so quickly you can leave trails and uh, just look at this thing blast by this is some very creepy footage that was sent in by a viewer You'll remember the many videos I've posted showing UFOs interacting with lightning storms uh, and, uh, you know, whether they are siphoning energy from these storms or just like to hang out in them and freak people out. A lot of UFOs seem to lurk within these storms all over the world. Now, this next piece of footage, or rather two pieces of footage actually, that were sent to me by a viewer definitely are both, as you are about to see, very interesting and it would appear the person who emailed these to me is a ufo summoner of sorts because it seems like they are just capturing all sorts of strange things now this first clip stated by the source in the email was said to have been shot in venice by a long time subscriber so check this out <laughs> Okay guys, so that's the first clip and the viewer stated in the email that they quote, got some videos to share captured in Vienna, Austria. Also another weird object I saw and captured on my flight to Saudi Arabia. 
So the viewer here and her friend capture this first mystery object hovering in the distance in a very steady motion above Austria. And you know, I don't know if this could maybe be a blimp. Could it be a plane maybe pulling one of those signs behind it? Well, I, I don't see a plane at all, even, you know, enhancing it, bringing up the contrast. I would think a plane would be easily visible here, and the viewer said there was no plane whatsoever. And this thing was moving quickly and took the shape of sort of a cigar or, you know, uh, uh, something thin or slim, that's for sure. So here is the second clip taken on her flight leaving Austria on their way to Saudi Arabia, videoing out the window of the airplane when at about the midpoint of the video, we see this mystery white object in the distance coming into the frame from right to left at a very high rate of speed. Whoever this person is, if I were you, I would watch your back lest you get abducted next by these UFOs that seem to be following you. But really, really cool footage. Uh, I really appreciate you emailing it into me and uh, having an eagle eye, you know, being ready and seeing strange things, you know. What do you guys think about this second clip in the plane here? Look how fast this object comes in to view here. And uh, I'm totally on the fence. And lastly today, guys, we will end with another news story that's kind of, you know, also gone viral across all of the online mainstream news outlets that you may have seen very well may have nothing to do with UFOs, but nonetheless is still awesome is this mysterious, crazy looking pink cloud, or as many had described it, UFO like that formed over the country of Turkey. Uh, with the description that uh, this rare cloud formation just sort of suddenly appeared and created in, uh, you know, the news opinion, an optical illusion, tricking viewers into thinking that the cloud looked like a UFO, which, I mean, it does look like a UFO or something that a UFO created or, or a black hole opening up. It also kind of looks like something else strange, I, you know, pareidolia, you know, your mind can play tricks on you. Uh, but many are saying that the wave-like pattern is known as a lenticular cloud, which, uh, you know, obviously I know what that is. There's many types of clouds out there. I get a lot of viewer submissions uh, showing some pretty strange-looking clouds out there, and some pretty awesome natural cloud formations exist. And this could be one of them. Or, you know, maybe HARP has expanded to Turkey and they're doing some particle smashing experiments, potentially creating a mini black hole above. You never know, but pretty cool nonetheless. So if you haven't seen it, now you have. And as far as the rest of some pretty cool UFO footage featured today, tell me what you think down below. Throw me a like if you enjoyed this content. Share this video to mainstream news outlets so that we can get picked up like we used to before the algorithm change, you know, it'd really help me out. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All of those are down in my link tree. You guys have a great day. Thank you all for stopping by. Stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one.